Full Force Wrestling is just getting bigger and better. If you want the lights, if you want the excitement, if you want the drama and the pure thrill of watching some of the absolute best that British wrestling has to offer, then Full Force Wrestling is the place to be. Watch out as we make our way to a town near you. Follow along throughout social media for all the latest and greatest breaking news and interviews. We're on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram at Full Force Wrestling. And check us out on Twitter at FFW underscore wrestling. Also, be sure to visit our website, www.fullforcewrestling, for upcoming dates and ticket information. And don't forget about Turnbuckle TV. If you love the action here at Full Force, why not sign up for Turnbuckle TV? Sign up for Turnbuckle TV now and use our promo code by heading over to turnbuckletv.com slash FFW. Saturday, October the 2nd, 2015. In the small village of Ulster, just outside of Redditch, saw the birth of FFW Full Force Wrestling. A promotion started just out of curiosity to see if people would give a different promotion a chance and with that, give a different group of talent a chance in return. Since FFW's inception, it has seen a total of 133 men and women enter the ring and as a company, we have put on 36 shows in 13 different towns. And none of this would have been possible without you, the amazing Full Force Wrestling fans. The Full Force British Championship. A total of six men have held this championship since its first appearance in 2016. The former champion regaining his crown. Ruthless Joseph Miller. Nailing with the low blow to become the champion. TJ Sky is your new champion. The Full Force Women's Championship. A total of five women have held this championship since we saw the title debut at our two year anniversary show in 2017. The Full Force Wrestling Tag Team Championships. A total number of four teams have held these belts since they got brought into Full Force back in 2018. The Full Force Wrestling Commonwealth Championship. <laughs> So far, just one man has held this title, and that man is the Bollywood dream, Hari Singh. The FFW Finest Four Trophy, won only once a year, first being won in September 2017 by the British wrestling legend Doug Williams, in 2018 by Killian Jacobs, and in 2019 by Dominita. These names have all gone down in history as the finest wrestler of their respected year. Hi, I'm Rob, aka the Hotshot Joey Scott, and for those of you who don't know, I'm the promoter of Full Force Wrestling. Starting up Full Force was a massive thing for me. It's something I wanted to do for so long. I belong to a wrestling company uh, from 2008 up until the end of 2014. Um, I just wasn't happy, I wasn't happy with how things were going, I wasn't able to wrestle elsewhere or meet new people and see what else the UK independent scene had to offer really. Um, and I thought it was a really cool opportunity for me to uh, put in place so I can do things the way I choose, the way I think things would work. And hopefully have a big crowd here tonight. Um, so to be able to put on my own show was, was a, a big deal. 
and I had all the help I could have wanted off my friends and family going into my first ever show. Get all the blue tickets as well, just in front of the ring. Thank you. Um, and still to this day, they all have a massive part to do with Full Force Wrestling. The team is just growing and growing. And because now I have such a loyal team behind me, what's just pushing in the same direction, they all want Full Force to go in the same direction. That is exactly why Full Force is being able to bring you our super show, G-Force. On the 17th of March, 2020, Full Force Wrestling unfortunately announced that our super show, G-Force, would be canceled due to the COVID-19 pandemic that is affecting the world. This has had a massive effect, not only on the wrestling circuit, but on life in general. But we promise, when we come out of the other side, and we will come out, we will come back bigger and better than ever, because we are Full Force Wrestling. small show in a small venue in Malden, um, which is a close venue to me. It's about 40 minutes from my house, which for me is pretty close. Uh, I was in a, I was opening the show in a triple threat match with Jim Hunter and Scotty Essex. Now me being the kill, I came away with a victory, obviously, and that was just the starting point of my full force wrestling career, which would take me on to more victories and more titles. So the guy like you see today on Full Force Wrestling shows. He's mad! He's off his rocker! He's the hammer! He's I made my Full Force Wrestling debut at the very first Full Force Wrestling show in 2015. I was actually the referee and I refereed every show on that card. So I have a, a nice little place in the history of Full Force Wrestling in that I was involved in the very, very first Full Force Wrestling match. The most dominant force in British women's wrestling! I made my debut on the 25th of March 2017. <laughs> I didn't have a match, I interrupted Millie McKenzie's match and put Millie through a table via a powerbomb. Oh, it's August Jackson. 
I debuted way back, way back. I debuted 2019 at the beginning. Damien Black, the Macadown Center. From the asylum, the inmate, Damien Black. And my full force debut in 2017. And I remember the whole time before I went out there with a sense of excitement, a sense of raring to go and just wanting to do it. For my full force debut, I ran in through the crowd and attacked Joey Scott. Finished it off with a spine buster through two chairs, which was absolutely brilliant. Alex Chambers! Hello, I'm Alex Chambers, and I made my debut for Full Force Wrestling in September of last year, and it was um, on a pre-show in a battle royale match. The I made my Full Force Wrestling debut when I was 20 years old and it was their uh, first year anniversary and it was me and Millie McKenzie versus Chris Drew and Catmon Cage in their original venue in Ulster. Sweet Steve! Hi, my name's Stephen Walker. I'm the referee on Full Force Wrestling. My debut was in April 2018 in Shirley. Uh, I believe the main event was a four-way between Joseph Miller, Eddie Ryan, Bram, and Kenny Kilbane. Um, it was a big main and I was real nervous. So I debuted for Full Force Wrestling. The People's Princess Nadia! Just um, under a year ago, it was in a ladder match. This is your full force wrestling women's championship ladder match. I didn't win because, let's just say, I was robbed. Uh, but you know, that's another story. Just go back and watch Tim Buckle TV and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Nadia Sapphire spending a lot of time looking in that mirror. TJ Scott! Hi, I'm TJ Sky. I'm your full force wrestling champion. Uh, if I can think back, I think I made my de debut for full force in 2015. Uh, that'd be against one of my best friends, Kieran Young. Uh, me and Kieran go way back and it just so happened we both managed to uh, scrape onto the first ever Full Force Wrestling show. Um, we had a pretty cool match to be fair, really enjoyable, nice new company, nice fresh, hungry start for everybody. I believe I won. I knew Joey Scott, I knew he ran shows in sort of the Warwickshire sort of area um, and he was doing a show in Studley, uh, I don't know too far from Studley, so I came along to um, lend a hand, help out, uh, the referee I think cancelled or something happened, um, so then I had to referee last minute, I'd never done it before, uh, it's pretty scary. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's how it came about me being a ref. Oh, with those kicks! Two and just a two count from Will Boots. <laughs> Refereeing Pete Dunn was exciting. Uh, 
because at the time to referee someone who was a WWE champion. The current WWE Considering it was like, you know, it was like the fourth show I'd ever ref, so like, that was a pretty big deal. Hi, my name's Diane and I've been with Full Force Wrestling since 2015. A good thing about being part of the Full Force family is that I get to experience some amazing moments. And the one unforgettable moment was when I presented Dominita with the first ever Women's Championship bout. Another nice moment was when I received a Full Force Award. All the staff were invited into the ring and we all were presented with an award, which was really nice. Three, four, five! Top two moments would have to be Winning the Rumble at the Nelson Club, eliminating Chris Royals, the underdog, classic tale, it's a great moment. And I think just to double up, my top two moments uh, would have to be uh, the same night, main eventing, with Danny Jones, Dominita, Terry is it? going on. But uh, although, albeit to an unsuccessful finish of the night, I won one out of two, I'd take that, but I've uh, got to show everybody in full force a little bit about what all Jackson's about, and I think I, uh, I think took a bit of good impression. The moment that comes to my head um, would be the match of Eddie Ryan that I had. Uh, just that whole match in itself was just like one big moment, and um, I feel like I really proved myself in that match, even though I lost. Um, and just like the mutual respect between us at the end, like, you know, shaking hands and just like, no, no, I don't. His respect from that match was just like a good feeling for me and a good moment for me as well. My second moment would be um, beating Jerry Scott. And rolling him up with the victory roll, but once again, a oh, hold on now. One, two. Beating Jerry Scott um, in, um, a, in a town where like he's uh, quite well known. Um, so obviously the crowd is more like behind him than where me. A very satisfying victory and a quite big moment for me of all sorts, yeah. For me personally, I I found for me it's all about representing and having the chance to be with Full Force Wrestling since the very start. Um so for, for me being able to become champion by beating Paul Malin in Warwick. A man who has been a staple on the Full Force Wrestling roster for four years and now counting. A man who has never won a major match between those ropes on Turnbuckle TV at FFW is now your heavyweight champion. Wear it with pride. TJ Sky is your new champion. I've had a lot of big moments in Full Force Wrestling and um, a lot of them will just be like career highlights for me, but the two main ones, I would say, the first one being the first ever uh, Commonwealth Champion, and also uh, the match against Pete Dunne. And after the ceremonial drumming, these fans psyched to see the undefeated Hari Singh. Um, looking back on it, it probably isn't my best match, but it was definitely a moment I was very proud of. Sets him up with a vertical suplex and a release suplex right under the edge of the ring. To the face, but done. Oh, I'm having trouble calling this right now. Going back into the pump handle, and there it is. And a, sign of respect. a moment that will stay on with me for the rest of my career, to be honest. A top moment in full force wrestling. Clearly winning the women's championship. He still has the belt and knocking Jade right out. And new full 
Force Wrestling Women's Champion, Nadia Sapphire. My top two moments. Uh, something I hold quite close to me is a day we all shared. It must have been the carnival last year in July. I think it was Ashwood Bank Carnival. Um, the promoter asked if I would like to be part of the day he was putting on there, which involved us walking around with all the floats, collecting money for charity. And, you know, performing on the show, I got the opportunity to wrestle Joey Scott. Um, it, was, it was a, it was a, a match I will remember because I, it probably wasn't my best and it will, you know, but I did take a great deal from it and I, it was the first time I got to work with Joey, which was a real pleasure because it was something, you know, I really, really appreciated doing. Um, the second moment would be... Um, Mount Sorrel of last year too, um, they have a tournament to, uh, they have a tournament to announce the new champion, um, there were some great people competing, Joseph Connors, Johnny Kidd, Paul Malan, Eddie Ryan, you know, that, and the matches between these guys were phenomenal, um, it was a real night for me, like, it was top draw, I got to raise Paul Malin's hand and he became the new champion of Full Force Wrestling and, you know, Paul Malin's a guy I respect massively, he's been part of the wrestling business now for, for so long and he, he, personally he's taught, a, he's taught me a lot of, about wrestling and, well, not just wrestling but, you know, me as a person too. Wrestling Charlie said it was a big moment for me. Tie up right there. Step up in Suguri! Um, I wanted to wrestle him for such a long time, uh, pretty much ever since I started wrestling and when 4 Force gave me the opportunity to wrestle him, it, it, it meant a lot to me. Josh Holly, here we go! One, two, three! Um, another moment was, was being on, on the show in Warwick where, where Pete Dunn was on. 410% awesome! It was a good atmosphere that day. It was, it was something different about the atmosphere um, that, that just made that show so special. One thing about Full Force is that all the crowds are loud. They're always in, in a place where, where somehow they just love wrestling. Um, and, and it always seems to be a good atmosphere whenever I perform at Full Force. So I, was, I was able to do it with my friends as well, which was cool. When we were in an eight woman gauntlet match where I ended up winning the Full Force Women's Championship, that was my first uh, belt for Full Force and it was quite an important time in my career because I was fairly new um, so that was exciting and where we had to wrestle all seven of them when it was me and M Millie at the end so yeah that was interesting so that was got to be my first favourite moment and then, then my second one is the Finest Four Trophy um, that was just October gone where I wrestled three other lads for the Finest Four Trophy and I ended up winning that that was probably one of the toughest matches of the Full Force so far. Um, there's some big names in it, some different types of wrestlers, different type of talent. Um, so that was interesting, but that was a massive moment and the crowd were insane. So. I've had some great matches with the likes of Harry Singh, TJ Sky, Spike Trevay, Chris Royals, just to name a few. But I think two of my biggest matches one has to be against Joey Scott when we were the main event of Redditch Town Hall. But it all comes to a head here tonight. And oh! Damien going right after Joey and Joey! Caught him in midair where the cutter did black and that... And look at that! 
Joey. Joey! Joey with a power ball! Scott not getting out of this one! Joey Scott and going through! To me, that was quite special. Uh, knowing Joey Scott for as long as I have, to do the match in our hometown and be the main event and the start of the match it was, everything about that match meant a lot to me. So that's something I'll always hold in my heart. Another one has to be getting in the ring and the chance to wrestle Doug Williams. Words can't describe what that meant to me. It was so much fun. And I learned so much from just one match that, as I said, words can't describe what it meant. My top two moments in full force wrestling. Number one is the fact that I was the very first full force wrestling champion. I obtained the title in one of my favorite matches, a ladder match. It's no stranger to anyone that the kill killing Jacobs loves a bit of danger, loves a bit of excitement, loves a bit of the, uh, the, the hardcore element in a match. So you bring in ladders, that match is always going to be won by me. I was always going to be the very first full force wrestling champion. Not only was I the very first full force wrestling champion, I was the very first full force wrestling tag team champion. I was the very first full force wrestling grand slam winner winning every kind of achievement that is attainable by me. My second favorite moment in full force wrestling history has to be when myself and my good friend and tag team partner, but back then at that time, uh, rival, Joey Scott, we, we got locked inside a steel cage. Lead up to our steel cage match at the third year anniversary show. It was like no other. We had nowhere to go but to batter the living hell out of each other. I mean, it got personal, it got real personal. Not only did my tag team partner turn his back on me, but he laid his hands on my mom. Uh, everything going into it, uh, competing with a guy like Joey. I couldn't wait to be locked inside that steel cage. I think we bring up the best in each other or the worst in each other. We know we can push each other to the limit. I think that cage match was something really special and it's uh, definitely my top two favorite moments of Full Force Wrestling history. My favorite memories of Full Force Wrestling are winning the Tag Team Championships with CJ Rawling as the Hatters. We were this odd couple who started off butting heads and then over the course of six months, we actually became a good tag team. And at Macadown, we finally won the gold. And I was really proud of what, what started off really as just a one-off match. We managed to stretch it like a year and get a tag team and win championships out of it. Another favourite memory of mine is the British Rules match between Doug Williams and Johnny Kidd. A fun little story behind this one, I actually wasn't scheduled to be on the show and I turned up just to watch that match because I'm a huge fan of traditional wrestling. So that match was like a dream match to me. I was like, this is going to be brilliant. So I turned up to help out at the show because I wanted to watch that match and the referee was struggling to get his head around the rules so a suggestion was put out there why don't you referee it because I knew all the rules so I said yeah sure why not um, so I ended up refereeing so yeah I turned up to watch and ended up being in the main event refereeing this incredible match between two British wrestling legends. Snakes through, grabs the leg. Doug Williams up top. Two and three! So one of my favorite things about uh, Full Force Show Days is probably the van drive there. I love it. Pretty funny. We've got the rants, we've got the bitching. Yes, you f Have you seen it? <laughs> The stupid <laughs> Oh my god, I was in ballast! We've got the jokes, the singing. Don't impress me. Oh, come on. <laughs> that don't impress me much. Always a good laugh. Uh, road trips with Joey Scott and Neil.
My favourite venue in the history of Four Force Wrestling uh, has to be Warwick. Uh, and I say that again, it has to be Warwick. Because normally when I turn up, I call it Warwick, and the crowd just eat that up. They hate that. Next Wave 5 are taking your tag team titles here tonight in Warwick. Warwick! Shut up, Warwick! 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 What's the matter with you people, you stupid? Am I saying it wrong? That's why I like the Warwick venue so much, because of the crowd. They're so easy to, uh, they're so easy to get them to bite. They're so easy to work. And, and that's the crowd that I want to perform in front of. I, I love the crowd there. The venue's really nice. That's uh, my favorite venue. It goes down to Warwick. So pretty obvious which my favourite venue is, it's Warwick, um, the fans are always hot, they're always chanting my name before I even come out like last time, they were chanting it halfway through the show. Banners, you know, so definitely got to be full force and I think knowing those little kids that are always there and the support of the kids from Warwick is just extreme. And I think that's why I wrestled, you know what I mean? So to see those kids' faces and be that happy to meet a wrestler when I'm just an average Joe makes a massive difference to me. Um, so no matter what my match is like or win or lose, I'm always going to have a good time at Warwick. So Warwick, definitely my favourite venue. Uh, my favourite venue would probably have to be the Town Hall in uh, Redditch. Um, just because that's where I made my uh, full force... Uh, Singles debuts. Please welcome Alex So, like, that venue in itself has a lot of meaning to me, so I'll probably say there. My favourite venue I've performed at has to be Redditch Town Hall. I mean, for me, it being my hometown, so it's going to be my favourite venue, isn't it? <laughs> but not just that, I've had some really good matches at Redditch Town Hall. Damian Black, TJ Sky had a series of matches in 2017. Oh! Joey Scott hit him with a can of the beer, it looks like. And another crossbody. Joey Scott is too pretty for that! Joey Scott not getting out of this one! So for me, it has to be my favourite venue. I've always had a really good time at Macadam. A lot of fun there. Always a really lively crowd. Some of my best matches have been at Macadam. Uh, I won the Four Force Tag Team Championship there. I challenged the Four Force Championship there. Your next match is for the Four Force Wrestling Championship. Um, I won a Rumble there. I've had a really good history at Macadown. The favourite venue for me, uh, probably because it's where I debuted, has got to be Macadown. Uh, Macadown, there's something special about that venue. It's a smaller venue, and um, the last show in particular we had uh, was incredible. I got a win over Chris Royals again. Ha. August Jackson defeats Chris Royals. It was, it was it's, a soft, it's a special spot for me at the Macadown. The atmosphere for force wrestling is a lot of fun. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Come on, Jake. How we go? No. <laughs> it's it's a nice locker room to be around. Going up someone's orifices. No. Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> uh, Joey Scott. Uh, you. He, he does get pretty stressed on show days. Um, 
Yeah, listen. No, I'm Will, are you listening? Overall, it's a good atmosphere. Um, when he's not swearing at lights or other people, then yeah. Um, the atmosphere at Four Force Wrestling is always a good one. Um, it's a show that I always look forward to travelling to. I always have a good time when I'm there from start to finish. Um, I get there pretty early, I help set up. I'm usually one of the last guys to leave the building as well. So from that whole day, uh, I'm having a good time. I've got a smile on my face and uh, you know, that's, that's pretty rare for the kill. So uh, if you ask me, is, is Full Force Wrestling a good place to work? Hell oh, yes it is. No, Full Force is a good show. It's a big show and you know it gets spoken of highly. And before I was part of the family, I always wanted to be part of the family. We're all going for three tonight and it's on Rob because he did the springboard in. The atmosphere in the locker room is always good, it's always quite supportive, we're always quite a fun team, so that also makes it nicer for everyone, so it's always a good one at Full Force. The backstage atmosphere at Full Force Wrestling, it's it's very nice to be a part of a place which is so positive, like everyone is supporting each other there. And I think that shows on the events, um, the in-ring work of some of uh, the regular Full Force guys, it just increases every show. And I think that's partly to do with all of our work ethics, but then also um, how the atmosphere is backstage as well and how supportive everyone is. Too. The atmosphere at Full Force Wrestling made me at ease so much. The atmosphere is amazing. I see absolutely no reason why Four Falls Wrestling won't be around for many, many years. And I say that because in my short experience in this business, I find that the companies who start off steady and gradually get bigger, they're the ones that stick around. If a company comes out and they just chuck everything on it, then very quickly the hype goes and they disappear. And I think if you look over the history of British wrestling in the last 10 years, I'm pretty sure the companies that have been are gone back that statement up. I would love to see Full Force Wrestling even bigger in five years time. With their five year anniversary coming up, I'm one very excited to be a part of it. Um, but another thing is, I know that Full Force will spend no expense in trying to put on the best show possible that night. Uh, on their anniversary shows especially, there is, there's just nothing else like it. Um, absolutely, I think they definitely will be around and I hope they are because it's a great platform to wrestle for me and for other inspiring wrestlers too. So I definitely hope they will be around but from the looks of it and um, how motivated the uh, management are there, I definitely think they will be around in five years. Um, yeah, of course. Cool. So, what well, I've been with Full Force for three years, and look how much it's progressed and changed in three years. Um, we're only going to get bigger and better, and there's only up for us. And I'm quite looking forward to seeing what the next five years brings for us. Full Force has progressed massively, production-wise, talent-wise. I mean, it was already fantastic talent. I mean, I've, I said about my debut match, the, the talent has always been top draw, but. Um, it became a bit more of a, a, a group now, where everybody's bonded, you know, it, the, the progression in Full Force, it, whether it just be the fans, the talent, or the production and the staging, everything has moved on massively, and long may that continue to. I totally believe that Full Force will be around in five years time, it just keeps going from strength to strength. If you look at where Full Force Wrestling was five years ago to where it is today, there is no doubt that Full Force Wrestling has progressed. If you look at, the, uh, at every aspect of the show, if you look at talent that was on the show five years ago compared to the talent that's on the show today, you, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to work it out that Full, full Force Wrestling has jumped leaps and bounds ahead of most independent wrestling shows in the UK. If you look at staging and uh, production of the shows from five years ago to today, there's no doubt that Full Force Wrestling has progressed. Well, if the first five years are anything to go by, then of course, 
I can't wait to see what All Force Wrestling has in store in the next five years to come. But what I do know is I can only expect that the staging and the production of the shows are going to get bigger and better and more professional and just in your face and it's going to scream Full Force Wrestling. I'd like to think Full Force will be around in, in, in five years time. Um, obviously the more promotions, the more places to work, which is obviously a good thing. Um, but also Full Force is one of the first places to give me a chance. Um, as a wrestler getting into the into the industry, um, they, they took a chance on me. Uh, they gave me a lot, uh, quite quite a few bookings when I first started out, which which I really appreciated. And obviously, I hope they're, they're around for, for, for years to come. The last five years of Full Force Wrestling, they've just gone from strength to strength. If they continue on this on this trend, then there's no reason why in the next five years they're going to be even bigger and even better. When I started up Full Force almost five years ago. I didn't even think it would last maybe a year. It was more of an experiment really to see if I could actually put on a show. So to be still going now and to have the team what I have behind me, yeah, I think we can we can go another five years, another 10 years, another 15 years, see how far we can go because we're just growing and growing. Um, I've, I've, I've said it before, the, the help I get off my family, off the wrestlers, the, it, it's a close-knit family now, Full Force is. Um, and no one's exempt from being put in the limelight. I've had my mum thrown in the ring. Um, I've put my nan in the ring in segments with uh, Lana Austin and Mel Price. Why is this granny taking all my attention? it up with them throwing a cake in Mel's face um, my mum's been slapped about knocked to the ground um, everyone in the family is not exempt from being put on the show um, it, full force from an outside point of view I think people look at it as a very family run business um, and I, I couldn't do it without them really um, the people what are seen on the shows and the people behind the scene. Um, everyone who is involved in Full Force is a crucial part of the team. Um, and you saw a little bit of that on the four year anniversary show when they received awards in the ring. Um, just a little bit of appreciation, um, mainly for the fans to see the team that don't necessarily get the spotlight on shows. definitely think Full Force will be around um, as I, I, I couldn't really take it away from the people who have invested, both fans and the team. Um, if I was to stop running Full Force, I, I would feel guilty almost. So yeah, I definitely think it'll be around in another five years time and hopefully a lot bigger than it is now.